guys and welcome back to my youtube channel this is the vlog i'm very excited about it's time to organize my desk okay guys so this is what we're working with um this is matt's desk such a mess not even gonna go there this is my little office space which we've created that is the like shelving that i was speaking about where I'm wanting to put my storage um, containers in. This is what I've been using thus far for all my packaging and things like that. I uh, needed a spot to put this humongous, obnoxious tripod. So that's great that it's out the way. And then I've got my storage over there, which I'm going to show you in a sec. This is my yoga ball, which I use to sit on. With my low back problem, I cannot unfortunately sit on any other chair besides a yoga ball. So yeah, and this is my desk. So I've just been editing today. So my laptop is busy exporting a new vlog. Actually the vlog that will probably be the latest vlog that's up. If you haven't watched it, please do. It's time to set up my, my desk slash office i have a rail here which i'm planning on putting the new collections on i bought little hangers so they have clips on them which is going to be great for um showcasing the new products that come in they're coming in in like two to three weeks so it's going to be amazing um to just showcase some of the pieces so i'm gonna hang them on the rail like that first thing I want to show you is the storage that I got from Mumbo's um, storage and home this is the first product that I got it's just a basic um, stationary holder um, organizer so what I like to do with these is I write the customers name on them for those who go and collect from our collection point so I'm planning to put these in the front but first we need to take this off. That is much better. And now we can organize. I have my calculator, which I will need. So that will go in there. My little uh, sticky notes I need. So that I think I'll put in the front there. What else do I need? And I think in the middle section, I'm going to put all my pastel highlighters. So I use that pretty frequently. And that is how it's looking. So the next little storage container we're going to be using is this mini drawer. I actually didn't get this from Mambo's. I found this at Pip Home. I think it was like 60 bucks. So real bargain. I'm going to put all of my Bikini Warehouse freebie stickers in it um, as well as my packaging stickers. So these are all my packaging stickers which I'll put in there. These are our Christmas stickers which we use at Christmas time. Got a roll of that. We have a whole bunch of packaging stickers here. And these are our freebie stickers, which I'll also put in the little mini drawers. Also, comment down below if you enjoy these kind of videos. Do you enjoy watching organization videos? Because I know I do. I literally love it. I can sit and watch it for hours and hours. It's just something about it that's so satisfying. So yeah, let me know. see if it closes I did buy a small dustbin just to put um, excess packaging that I don't no longer want to use um, you know the packaging that gets crumbled or doesn't look too too nice how cute is it though there was a tiny one in the shop 
if you've watched my previous vlog, you'll know which one I'm talking about, but it was the cutest thing. It was just very impractical, like I don't know what would fit in there. So this was the next the next size up from that. It's still cute. If you know me, you know that I love mini mini anything, like mini handbags, uh, mini dustbins, like anything mini. I'm there for it. I don't know what it is about it. I just love it. The reality of vlogging and the bottom half of you is not going to be in the frame. I'm sure every YouTuber does this. That will go here. Now I want to organize this basket which has my packaging in it as you can see and we're going to use the bigger drawer that I got from Mumbo's this drawer over here and we're just going to place them in one of the drawers so we have to remove the stickers first because they're ugly and we're going to place it in the shell I think over here where it's easily accessible will be perfect now we're going to fold them okay so in the first drawer I'm going to put my manual receipt box so let's put that in here oh I forgot about this container I'm going to put all my pencils and pens that I use every day in here okay so my manual Receipt books are going to go here. Then smaller bags will go here in this drawer, this middle drawer. They just fit. So this is how I packed the sleeves and I'm quite happy with that. It's all nicely folded and that is in the third drawer. I actually wanted to take this time to chat a little bit about our packaging. A lot of people ask us why we don't have the most aesthetic packaging. Every other small business has this extravagant packaging. We want to be the most affordable swimwear in South Africa and to do that we need to keep our overhead costs low. A lot of the money that you are spending is actually because of the packaging. So you are paying for that box that looks so pretty. You are paying for the stickers that you are just ripping open. We just want to give you the highest quality, most affordable swimwear and the packaging is sort of our last priority. Yeah, so we basically would rather have you have more bikinis in your wardrobe than just one or two because they are so highly priced. Yeah, that is why our packaging is minimalistic. For those reasons, we decided on a plain, simple plastic sleeve. Some of you might wonder, well, what about the environment you're using plastic? It is biodegradable and it is indicated in the corner of our packaging. Hey guys, Future Kaylee here. I'm pausing the video to say thank you so much to the sponsor of this segment of the video and that is Kiko Vitals. Just want to mention that they are the most exciting delivery that I get every month. If you would like to see a full unboxing, please make sure to go and follow me on TikTok and Instagram. Let's get back to the video. Oh, I got these hangers for our new collection. So I'm just going to hang all of them on this rail. Fun fact about me, um, when I was a baby, my name was actually Bambi. My parents changed my name to Kaylee when I was just a little girl. So yeah, they all call me Bambi like my whole life so I got this pajama set from I think I want to say pick and play pick and play clothing and this was attached and I thought it was so cute so yeah this is my little bookmark I'm going to put the pens and pencils that I use on a daily basis into this container
Another nickname of mine is Kezi. Matthew calls me Kezi and he got this Parker pen engraved with the name Kezi. So yeah, very special. Who remembers these colorful, like fine liner pens? These are all pastel colors. So that's gonna go in here. I just put a plant there, some baskets in between, and yeah, I'm so happy with the outcome. Mm -hmm.